Hello again, this is Simon Virgil. I'm talking to Tom Barlow from Key West Boats, sales and marketing manager, soon to be celebrated author. And we're looking at the <laughs> Key West 210BR, which is once again one of the latest boats in the Key West lineup. And Tom's little baby. He gave birth to it recently. Yes. Tom. Painful process. <laughs> well, it's mighty big, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, this is one of the few, if not the only, 19 degree dead rise bay boats on the market. Uh, the, way, the reason I like to emphasize that is having fished this boat recently in rough water. Uh, you know, a bay is normally a big wide open body of water. A little bit of breeze makes a bay a very rough body of water. I could run through white caps with this boat over 40 miles an hour. Um, that's pretty impressive. 19 degree dead rise is what allowed us to do that. And there's, there's tournament situations where you need to be there first, and this boat allows you to get there first with that kind of bottom on it. Uh, we've also got the, uh, the very effective hard chines that are downturned on the outside edge of the bottom on this boat. And uh, we're talking about this area right in here, where our downturn deflects water back down into the water instead of letting it get up in the air where it can blow back on you. So it's a very dry running boat. And we've also got a fairly good chine here and not a lot of room to work with. I think a beautiful curve is also obviously going to cut the spray nice in the waves. And you know, people always assume that a bay boat cannot take rough water. Uh, you know, the extreme rough water like you would encounter rolling waves and those kind of things. But if you look at the distance from the keel to the top of the boat, we've got a very deep boat here. You which have. is very capable when it comes to rough water. How does it affect the draft? Are you going to be going to get into those shallow spots that the, the bass guys like? Um, yes, you can get in there, but the dead rise on a boat does affect your draft. The deeper the dead rise is, the more draft it requires to get into, uh, you know, to, to float the boat. But the, um, the trade-off, I think, is very worthwhile because you can get there uh, in a boat that has the dead rise, even if the water is rough, whereas in a boat that can float in six or eight inches of water, uh, may not even get you there. That's true. So the draft on this is 12 inches? About 12 inches. Yeah, 12 inches. With, a, with a reasonable load in the boat, like you would go fishing. Okay, let's go around okay, the back. We're rolling again. We're back with our 210BR. It's had a color change. We're pretty quick around here. Quick. Yes, our so. dark blue boat has become white. <laughs> All the same. Now this is a very actual interesting part of this boat, Tom. Um, quite a few things going on here. Uh, particularly the first, of course, is the pad bottom. Now, please. Pad bottom, yes. The pad on the bottom of a boat creates extra lift, whereas a V just cuts into that water. Mm -hmm. The pad, by being flat, gives you like a, a water ski effect, if you will, and yep. rises the boat up higher out of the water. Right. So the faster you go, the farther the boat rises out, the little less drag there is. Yep. Water sliding across the bottom of a, of a boat creates a lot of, uh, what is it, uh, viscosity, Ooh. <laughs> which is a, a liquid friction. Yes. Okay. Uh, but there is a lot of viscosity a boat sliding across the water, the less drag you can create, of course, the more speed you get. And, and of course, better fuel economy. And we're talking too. speed in a boat. Uh, higher speed boats get better fuel economy. So, you know, gasoline prices being what they are, better fuel economy is a wonderful thing. Mm. And that's part of what we're doing here with this pad bottom. Now, that pad's, what, about 11 inches wide, I think you told me? Right out of And that runs pretty well, almost to the length of the boat up until they start getting into the it's going to gradually into the knee up on the front so that as it's cutting water, it's not down. Yeah. It's right back here in the back end where it creates that lift where it's needed. Right. Now, what about this interesting function in the transom where we've, we've actually created a yeah, the, um, extension to the transom? The deck, which is this part up here, actually overlaps the transom. The transom is up like so, the deck comes and slides over it so that the deck is adding to the strength of the transom by overlapping, it ties everything as if it were one piece. Hmm. But we've got a much stronger transom here than we have in a boat that has with the typical yeah. uh, slack transom. Uh, the uh, the extended transom, as you can see, it extends out from the uh, this, this typical standard flat transom. It extends out another eight inches. The extension 
what it does physically to the boat as far as running is concerned. It gives the, the motor better leverage to raise the bow up so you don't need excessive trim to get that bow up when you want to run high speed. Right. All right so it increases the, the speed again, increases your fuel economy. But what else it does for this boat by moving it back eight inches, the splash well, the clearance that you need to tilt the engine up, mm. all of that is moved back eight inches mm -hmm. so that the, the rear deck Eight inches more walk space on that deck. Right. Uh, all of that comes into play, allowing us to get these rod holders inside of the boat. Yes. The walk around space we have inside the boat, all of that would be reduced by that eight inches if we didn't have this. So that's a huge gain just by doing that, isn't it? It is. Now, the other thing about this boat, and this one hasn't had one fitted to it, but it, you've got an option of fitting a hydraulic jack plate. That's right. Now, a lot of people wouldn't know, well, outside the States, a lot of people wouldn't know what a hydraulic jack plate is. That's right. What is it, Tom? A hydraulic jack plate is, when you jack, you come up and down. Mm -hmm. The jack plate allows you to do that through an electric switch remotely mounted up on the console. By raising the engine up and down, if you're in shallow water, instead of filling the engine out, which yep. creates a downward thrust of the propeller, you raise the engine straight up. Clean. Now your thrust from your propeller is efficiently pushing the boat forward, so you can get through that shallow water easier by projecting your engine up. Now, once you get up on plane, the, the propeller doesn't need to be completely immersed in the water anymore. No. Uh, if you can raise the engine up, all of this that you can get out of the water before mm -hmm. the propeller starts slipping reduces drag. If you reduce drag, you increase speed and you increase fuel cut. So a hydraulic jack plate is a multi-purpose tool mm. and it is very 